The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. Haban Mubatan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al mar I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha. You know me. Come, let us chat. I do have something to ask of you. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha! <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. I assume you heard about the commotion a few stores down. Do not tell me it's Kong and Luca again. Oh, no, tell me. Another pair of traders hiding in the store near the ocean. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
<laughs> Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Ahlan, Ahlan! Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. <laughs> Come closer! Be amazed at my selection upstairs! Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Tardiness is not something. Not something we can rush, yes, Aidati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best? is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the harbor withholding our supply, production has been slow in Saridati. Certain incidents uh, have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The, uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasure. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the Kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. 
I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ne. Longing for the exquisite, ya Sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups, but the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. The auction should be starting soon. Assalamu alaikum. Yasas, Nihal. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Uh, two. Any others? Hmm. We have a hmm. third there. Who? Oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summon. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Uh, 
This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello, spicy spring. Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? Go! Hey! Damn you! An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. I do not care what you have to do! Burn them, or murder their dogs if you have to! Understood, Saidi. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow, at all cost. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. Wait, what? I'll silence you! <laughs> This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both tickets. The guard will have to let me in now. Keep calm. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I'm... Forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Don't want you here. I wonder if you really are the expert you claim to be. This plate is behind Mine! <laughs> That's right, Bongro. I will kill you! I will not fail! Who are you? You will regret 
Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau. How did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet.
Rebecca, do you have some time? I have a few questions. Fire away. No more questions. Shukran, Rebecca. They will die for this. Every one of them. It is time we fight. Your anger is just, but you will not win a war, Ali. Basim, good, you are needed. Mercenaries have taken some rebels and executed them in the square. And your Rafiq would have me hide like a rat while they hunt my men openly. We must at least return the dead to their families. Do you still fear to fight these devils, Beshi? My only fear is that we become like them. There is more to this than it seems. The Khalifa would not risk war. This is the work of the Order. Then I will find those responsible and slaughter them like dogs. The Order will find you first. It's likely they are looking for you and Beshi already. You are well known to them. Basim, however... Ali, I will find who did this and I will kill them all. You have my word. Basim is right. Let him do this. When those responsible lie dead, you will receive the credit. All right. Everyone must know it was me. I will return to Jarjaraya, but I will not wait long. I will meet you at the gate, Basim. And I will make sure the bodies are returned to the families for Beria. That might have gone badly. You think this is the work of the Order? Yes. As you know, Shakia is run by Turkic mercenaries paid by the Khalifa, who himself is only a puppet for the Order. Spies tell me at least one of the mercenary commanders in Sharqiya is with them. Tell me who, and I will find him. We must tread carefully. Sharqiya stands on a razor's edge. The rebels are armed and growing in number. They could attack at any time. A misstep here could start a war that threatens even Elamut. What do you advise, Fulath? Go with Ali to Jajaraya and look around. Someone there must know something. And Basim, work quickly. You see what is at stake. Hmm. Lend me your eyes. Ali is waiting at the gate for me to go with him to Jarjaraya. Basim! Ali, are you ready? We must go. Not yet. I will be back. Ali, are you ready? We must go. Let us go. We must leave for Jarjaraya. Hidden ones are strange. 
You give weapons you don't want me to use, then give me credit for your victories. YOLA! War would be bad for everyone, especially you. That is your master's speed. Does it not bother you that those you obey are the same ones who make the rules demanding your obedience? Hmm. They do not control me. I am free. I fight so that others are free as well. Everything you do serves the Hidden Ones. That is a strange kind of freedom. The Hidden Ones are my family. There is no contradiction. If you say so. Once I lived on the streets and answered only to myself. But I was not free. Now that others tell you who you are, are you any freer? You could not understand. I understand better than you. If you are truly free, why the struggle within you? What do you mean? There is no struggle. I see that what you think is at war with what you feel. You will never find truth if you are not first truthful with yourself. No man can see what another thinks. No normal man. But look at me. I obey no one. I am ruled by no one. I am free. I want to look around before Beshi arrives in Jarjaraya with the bodies. That would be wise. People here are already angry. Things will be worse after the burials. There is a tea house nearby. Tea drinkers talk. You might hear something there about who is taking our men. What will you do? I have my own inquiries to make. Meet me back here if you discover something. Perfectly good sun plays go missing. Yet incompetence like you remain. No, stop talking, just get my tea. I overheard you mention that slaves have gone missing. What? Who are you? How dare you talk to me? Go away! Perhaps a token will change your mind. How dare you? What do you... Wait. How did you come by one of those? Fine. But make it quick. You mentioned Zenj slaves have been going missing. I don't see what it has to do with you. But yes, a stranger. One of those rebels has been disturbing the slaves. After he spoke with them, they disappeared. No doubt he's an acquaintance of that troublemaker, Ali ibn Muhammad. That's all I know. Now, leave before someone who matters sees me talking with someone like you. You work and work and what do you get? Nothing. Damn slaves. I treat them well. I pay them well, I feed them, and then they disappear. <laughs> and no one's left to work. He might talk, if I can sober him up. Oh. Time to sober up. Have I forgotten? Oh. Hmm? Ah. Oh. Uh. Enough, I'm better. Uh. A tea house is a dangerous place to be drinking. 
You could have been arrested. I've just had a lot of trouble lately. You said some of your slaves have gone missing. Hmm. Did I? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, not just missing. They disappeared. People do not just disappear. These did. Last night, two of mine did not come back from the fields. No one saw anything. They just disappeared. Poof! So you thought you would get drunk in a public tea house? Well... Yeah. Oh, my head. Look, do not tell anyone. I have to go home and fall over. Hey, over here. This way. Did you want something? Not here. There are too many... ears. If you take my meaning. Ah, yes, Sayidi. Our special teas are kept out the back. This way, watch your step. Follow me. Act casual. <sighs> All right, it's clear. Well, we seem to be alone. What did you want? Sorry for the melodramatics, but you never know who's watching. And this sneaking about is all rather exciting. I saw your red sash and heard you talking about missing slaves. Another has disappeared from a farmhouse near here. How do you know of this? I am friendly with the family. The husband was one of those executed. Now the son has gone missing as well. His mother is beside herself with worry. I thought you might be able to help her. Tell me where this farmhouse is. A little to the west. Slaves don't trust easily. But if you can do anything for her, I would consider it a personal favor. I should return to Ali and tell him what I have discovered. We should not do this. It will only make more trouble for us. More trouble than executions? <clears throat> they slaughtered our brothers! How do you not understand? Ali, what is this? This is not what we agreed to. I do what must be done. I do not need your approval. Did you discover something? Slaves are disappearing from all over Jarjaraya. One from a nearby farmhouse. I will go there and see what I can find. Good. Our friend here has been spending his mornings at the harbor, meeting with one we think is informing for the Khalifa. You could find this informant and follow him. See where that leads. Meanwhile, Beshi and I will loosen our friend's tongue. This is a mistake, Ali. Let us see. I should look for the informant, and help the widow find her missing son. This is the harbor. The informant is here somewhere. I should follow him, but I cannot let him see me. You are whom I seek. Lead, and I will follow. me that easily.
There. Now focus, Basim. Do not lose them again. Where did you go? Come on, come on. Where are you? I did underestimate you. We're very well. You have my attention. from that slave kid I already told you about. Someone's been sniffing around Jarjaraya asking questions. Uh, is it the one we reported last time? That troublemaker, Bashi. This one is new. No one seems to know anything about him. What are we doing then? I'm carrying letters for the boss and you're wasting my time. Come back when you've got a name. These two were gathering information for someone called Duan bin Arslan. I must find this Duan. But first, I should help the widow with her missing son. Perhaps it is connected. Excuse me. Who are you? What do you want? Forgive me. I did not mean to startle you. The tea house owner told me of your trouble. Perhaps I can help. I do not see how. I don't know you. You need flowers for your husband's burial. I too once lost those close to me, but could not bury them. It would be an honor if you let me do for you what I could not do for my friends. I will gather these flowers. My husband often brought some white savory to me. If you bring me some, I will leave them at his grave once he is buried. As my final gift. It will be done. The flowers will be nearby. I should look around. These look like the flowers I need. These are beautiful flowers. My friends would have approved.
I brought the flowers with my sympathy. They are such elegant flowers. My husband loved them. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? I am trying to find out who is taking slaves from Jarjaraya. I know your son is missing. Yes. I lost his father. It would be more than I can bear if I lost him too. Can you tell me what he was doing before he went missing? When his father was taken, he became very unhappy. He started going out at night. Last night, he never returned. I will look around. There might be something here that tells what happened. I could pick up her son's tracks around here. There are a lot of tracks here. The tracks lead to that small building. I need to find a way inside. A letter. He mentions I should let his mother know what I have found. I found a letter from your son. He was looking for the men who took his father. Oh, that foolish boy! He mentioned a nearby farm. Do you know what he was talking about? Oh no. That is Duan's farm. It is crawling with mercenaries. If he went there... Please, find my son. If he lives, I will send him back to you. You have my word. Duan's farm will be heavily guarded. I should return to Ali. Duan's farm will be heavily guarded. I should return to Ali and discuss the next... You return at last. What have you done? What I had to do. Is this what your freedom looks like? I do not follow your creed, nor do I answer to the Hidden Ones. This is the price of war. Beshi would disagree. Beshi does not lead this rebellion. He does his part and I do mine. But enough. What have you discovered? The missing slaves were taken at the order of one called Duan bin Arslan. Something big is happening soon. I do not know what. I do. This one said my men are being interrogated and are to be executed by their leader afterward at the villa. Ali, the informant mentioned Beshi by name. They are looking for him. Let them look. Go free my men. I will prepare our attack on the villa. Meet me near the farm when you are done. What do you see, Enkidu? <laughs> yeah! This looks like the farm where Ali's men are being held.
with that. There goes your career. Mother is waiting for you. I'm not going back yet. They killed my father. I will fight with the others. You are brave. Fine. Meet Ali outside the farm. There must be others being held nearby. That is all of them. I should meet with Ali. everyone here. The one bin Arslan dies now. We wait only for you. I am ready. Let us go.
They stole you from your homes when you were free. And brought you here to die in their fields as slaves. They've slaughtered our brothers like dogs in Sharqiya. Now they have taken more of us. No! No more! I promised you a new life. I gave you my word. More join us every day. From the least in Baghdad to the greatest. Allah is with us. Our cause is righteous. Our justice is destined. God is great. God is great. I'll get you. When word gets out of this victory, many will join our cause. Du'an bin Arslan was carrying orders. He was to report to superiors at the officers' club in Sharqiya. Those superiors may be who ordered the executions. Does it name them? It uses code names. al Ruh and al aishma Only the order uses such names. I will go to this club and see what I can find. I wish you luck. I must return and wait for Beshi. Be careful, Ali. The Khalifa will be hunting you both after this. There are things we cannot hide from if we are to be truly free. I should go to the officers' club in Sharqiya. Survey the area in Kidi. Show me the path ahead.
they trust me with the key to their special room. That's something, right? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Enough they get in their own room, but they make us a copy. Hold on. Go to rip your guts out. of your nonsense.
This must be the officer's room. I need the key. to make her your slave. Oh, don't look at me like that. Allah has favored us, Jasur. Or should only the mighty al Khwar enjoy such blessings? Do not speak his name, not even here. Of all of us, he scares me the most. You know what he's like. If he learns of my past and finds fault, where can I run? I do not have the luxury of your ships, Nadir. You may have taken liberties with truth in the past, but you have proven your loyalty many times. You executed those rebels recently. That was a task more cold-blooded than his ordering of it. Perhaps he should fear you. It is your voice I hear, but the words are those of the Shaitan himself. Do not jest. I want no trouble when he returns. <laughs> Shaitan! <laughs> That is high praise coming from you. It is as I told you. We are favored. I need not fear anything. <sighs> Where is Duong? He is late. As always, my friend, you worry too much. Which is why you are merely al Ruh, and I am Aeshmeh. My apologies, generals. Duong bin Arslan has been murdered. And we fear there is an intruder. We must get you to safety. I knew something was wrong. Duong is never late. Those two are with the Order. And they serve a third they call Al-Mardekhwar. But now, I need to find a way out. <laughs> 